So my name is João Araújo. I'm a mycologist and I'm curator in mycology at the New York Botanical Garden. And I work with the diversity and evolution of cordyceps fungi on a global scale. Zombie ants, fungi, so those are ophiocordyceps, not cordyceps. But we still accept saying cordyceps to refer to this broader concept of the fungus. And one of the most um, interesting, at least to me, is their uh, life cycle and their biology, is their ability to manipulate the host behavior in order that once they infect the host, usually, uh, um, not usually, uh, always, uh, a colonial insect like ants or, or wasps, so once they infect that, before killing the insect, it, it makes the controls their brain somehow that we don't understand how yet. It controls the ant or the wasp to leave the nest and to bite onto a plant, which has the ideal microclimate for the fungus to develop. So once the, they kill the insect, it will grow a mushroom, like a mushroom, a fruiting body out of the, the head of the host, and then will shower spores on the forest floor that will infect other ants that are that are passing by. Yeah, the, the first benefit is to avoid the social immunity that these insects display. So the ant colony, they, they have a, 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 like their public health system called social immunity. So all the ant workers, they, they tend to identify and to remove uh, threats from their, their colony, so which includes other uh, sick ants. So they don't want a sick ant to transmit their, its disease to other colony members, which can cause an outbreak in the colony if it gets broadly spread. So before the ant starts to display symptoms of the cordyceps disease, the cordyceps, off your cordyceps, to say more scientifically accurate, so it... Um, change the, the brain of the ant somehow it hijacks the, the the end of the brain in order to remove it from the the nest before the other uh, nest mates recognize it and kill it so it doesn't uh, transmit the disease so the fungus before it displays the symptoms it removes it from the the colony and place on the elevated position a summit position and then it, where the microclimate is ideal for the fungus because they are very sensitive fungi to grow Well, that's 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 fiction because these fungi they took millions and millions and millions of years. Uh, the genus of Cordyceps is uh, hypothesized to have arose have uh, rise 130 million years ago in a study from 2008 uh, by Giho Sung and Joe Spatafora. So they they proposed that the of Cordyceps uh, arose 130 million years ago. So they since then they have evolving to infect different sorts of insects. And they reach out to the ants, the zombie ant fungi, probably around 45 million years ago. So they took a long time to adapt to these insect hosts and to adapt to their own biology. So, for example, so just to, to illustrate how specific these fungi are, and that's out of question that they are infecting humans, is that one species of zombie ant fungus infect one species of ant. And this one species of zombie ant fungus cannot infect other ants. So they, they just infect one species of ant. So they're, they're really, really specific to that species they, they infect. So they, if they cannot even uh, infect other close related species of ant, it's, it's, uh, to my view, is out of question that these fungi would be able to switch to uh, and, and infect humans, at least in the next millions of millions of years. Yeah, if it would be transmissible, I have been dealing with hundreds of different species of these fungi on a daily basis in the forest, in the lab. So I have inhaled billions of spores of these fungi. So perhaps if these fungi will infect someone, I would be one of the first to get infected. So keep an eye on me if I start to act weird. So that means can mean something. Oh, that's one of the my favorite parts. So my work is uh, a bit more focused on the uh, Amazon region in South America, mostly in, in Brazil, but also in the Atlantic rainforest. But I have also collected in West and East Africa, in Japan, in China, and many other places. Because the tropics is the center of origin of these fungi, the, the hotspot of their biodiversity, 
So we tend to go to the tropics and, and, and work there because there's so much more diversity than temperate uh, forests. But although they are present here in temperate systems too, I have described three species of the zombie and fungi for United States, for Florida, Missouri, and uh, South Carolina. So they are here. There are records also in, in Canada as well. But field work is, is, really, is really great because we get to spend one month in the forest and collecting these fungi and seeing amazing things, amazing other fungi, amazing other insects. So it's really a great pleasure to be able to explore the forest and hunt for these fungi. The first thing, even before my college, the first tip I would give to a student is to pursue a career that they love to do on a because you'll be doing that every day for the rest of your life. So you better pick a topic that you enjoy doing it. So in my case, when I, I, I loved mushrooms before because I took a short course and I fell in love by mushroom taxonomy. Then when I saw the BBC video, that completely blew my mind and transformed my life because then I switched my career completely. So I don't know where I would be if I didn't watch it, that video 13 years ago. And But my college is really a great field because there's so much to be discovered. We just know the tiny tip of the iceberg. So there's a potential for many groundbreaking discoveries in the in, in, in many fields. So biodiversity, uh, evolutionary biology, or even uh, medically important compounds and biochemistry and which compounds and which uh, antibiotics and metabolites these fungi are secreting to protect their in, the insect cadavers from other infections from bacteria and so on and to infect the insect. So imagine how many um, how many different types of compounds these fungi are producing that could be used uh, for in, in our favor. And so there's so many uh, fields that could be explored. And to me, they are astonishingly beautiful. So I, I'm, I'm really fascinated by this fungi.